Claymore drops the molly. This is hoping to slow Dignitas down, oh. but they've not respected it at all. X Floud here back of the site it was kind of a bait and switch set up for Eternal Fire, and it's worked wonders. Emor's good for one more. From the easy lineup, but also means Antares can boost up. And then pop with a flash, beautiful peek. How's it getting caught scoped up? Freiburg trying to get out short side. There's so many players here, though. With all that B info for X Floud, Eternal Fire have fully rotated. Dignitas are walking into a trap. Yeah, pretty much the, the, the full setup here, right? Trusting the B site down to just one man. It's the right read for Eternal Fire. Dignitas. They don't know it, but the odds. Oh, oh the odds are meant to oh. be against them, but out of nowhere, Lecro and Freiburg have lit up the scoreboard. Oh, can't hold the line, can Calix? Oh dear. Nade? He goes in. I don't think it would ever do enough, right? Just a little tickle onto Forrest. Gonna take more than that to knock this guy down. X Floud going up. But if he tries to go over. <gasps> oh, he sees an elbow. Oh. It's only a little more damage to Forrest. He's brought him down to one shot range, but he's just playing on the back of Freiburg. Oh, nice. he's isolated the fight. X Floud, lovely 1v2. Really had no business. He would love more than the one. Luckily yeah, enough, they all go tried. up the short side to try and make use of this smoke. Oh. However, Emor holds the line with a double. Plant's coming in. Kalix doesn't find it on the spam, but it is just Freiburg all alone. One versus four. A lot of work to do and not the ideal position to be in. Freiburg's cut down right away. Great timing and eternal fire. They seem to know what's going on. Oh, oh, the molly at Sandbags forces the peak for Zantares, and now Dignitas just flood the site. Tech9 oh at the God. front. Freiburg trying to run down Kalix, but he's helped out by Emor, and the bomb's been dropped in elevator. That is a disaster of a round into this oh. A site. The Deagle, Alecro, does come in and allow the bomb to get Got retrieved. It. He will find a plant in the end, but he's run down by Eternal. Four ramp again there. Not waiting forever for him, though. They again want to flash with the smoke, and it's another opener for Kalix. He will die after one as the smoke fades. Santara sits back on sandbags, catches them throwing nades, and drops the smoke for his escape. He doesn't even need to leave with that uh, smoke. They can molly. He can sit inside it. There's no pressure on Santara's. He's just playing around. He hears them ticking the fire, and he follows up. Two on four now. Dignitas are getting slammed. Yeah, they, they really are, man. I mean, these uh, these A plays have not given them much love, have they? They've constantly been getting just whittled down at the ramp before Ooh. even making too much progress. Now, Lecro's going to do what he can to make this a close round to try get involved with his AWP, Ooh. and he will nail that shot. However, Lecro's been spammed while planting. That's how Zerk's now needed to clutch. Oh, but it doesn't again. matter. Two shots through the box. So Wox is going to get mollied. He has to pick his poison. And then, oh dear, the golden chalice is filled with something juicy. Emor gets run down in middle. Woxic, all oh, close shot. He had to hit it. And the UMP comes up big. Trading from X Floud. He's given up B, but he doesn't want to. Dropping in to fight for the entire round. Both players are already in the site. He doesn't know. Nate will finish the job. And this round, as quick as it started, it should already be over. Yeah, Electro blinded. Great flashes to just... Needs a flash or a smoke. Oh, dude. Emo's wrap. Good timing on it, right? He gets one and now just looks to fade out of oh. there. The molly really starts to restrict Dignitas. And I mean, they kind of stopped considering it. They thought he was going to show them respect and not keep pushing on this wrap round. Instead, he's doubled up. He's put so much pressure on the ramp component. And it's oh. only Lecro who's going to get torn through. Assemble this boost. Flash goes in, Lecro throwing up onto it, and there's the Deeg, nailing another. No. It's so clean when Lecro's got this gun. Kalix back of the site now, desperately trying to thin the herd. Does just get run down by Freiburg, who goes on a bit of a tear, doubling up with his scavenge day 1S. And now it's just oh. Emor. They get the bomb back. They look like they wanted to fight in there, but Freiburg decides the plant's more nice. important, and Lecro's going to close it much. 
walks in. This is going to be a banger if he hits it. Halzak's creeping in. It's slow shot. It's easy for Woxic. Instant re-smoke at the 20 seconds. And again, this late utility has been the undoing. It's a five-man A rotate. They know it's happening. Can x -File get the molly in in time? Kalix can stop the plant from this position alone. And he's done it with two. Dropping Lecro has won the round through the smoke. And Heap is found four alive for Eternal Fire. It's going to miss the shot on the flashbang. The nade will go nowhere. They are already up in the sight. Yeah, Heap trying to take that close fight is just churned up. Halzerk's going to respond with oh, one, and Lecro's is. Deagle taps out another. Oh, Lecro makes it a double. The Deagle just holding this one angle from Sandbags, and it's go for it. It's and tunnel, Moxie man. now reinvested, but with so little time left. Yeah, he's nailed that shot. However, inside of the sight was Forrest the whole damn time. So that's going to go in now. Are they going to... Yeah, okay. They use them both. That's what I was curious about. If they were going to try and save one for a post plant. But instead, it is just used to crack this site open and force Lecro into fights. He didn't really want to... Baiting. Dignitas can't get him out of the corner. And he still follows up with a kill. Hunting them down now. His team are here to help. And there's no help in Heap. He's a dead man in disguise. Two shots to the head. But it will be the round for Eternal Fire. Nice little B-pop. Especially with this Deagle on Lecro in position to do some damage. First kill goes the way of Freiburg, right? Oh, makes it a double. Oh. Lecro's gonna shut out another with the Deeg. You gotta try and deal with him, Emor. He's dropped into his crosshair. Oh, now tagged from generators. Emor is low. This is starting to get out of control. 1v2, and he does have this Deeg still trapped at double. Time is the problem, though. Emor, if he wants to win this, he needs to just win the gunfights. He's dealt with the oh, first. Maybe. Oh, he's taken the bomb. And he thought he was going to get faced. There was enough time to plant. Heap was already running away to win it for time. Wow. And Emor gets all the kill. Can let these execute smokes come in. That's the plan for Eternal Fire. They've got two smokes. A bunch of flashes. Good pick. And now someone can grab that gun. Yeah, they don't oh, actually have what? the molly to clear this. Antares has opened up at short. Will they be ready for Freiburg, who late crossed to the sandbags? Uh -oh. They don't have any way of flushing this out. They've got to check it. They've got to physically oh, no. check it. And no one is. Freiburg with a double. And he's helped out by Forrest going up, going over, and locking it in with a... With utility, can Leko get out? Or does he want to go in? MP9 up close in the face. His team are jumping through smokes to try and help out, but that's exactly what Eternal Fire want. The chaos is working. Woxic trading. He gets a double. Halzak is still here fighting for the site, and Kalix won't let him get away. 1v3 now for Heap. There's no bomb plant, but there's also no hurry. With this being an exec out of spawn, Eternal Fire can hold a moment and try and figure out where Heap is. Still got to consider the flank. He hasn't fired off yet. Oh, he got triple spotted, peak. yeah. Close, but will they pop him? Oh, yeah. yeah, the molly forces him out into the open. They could hear it tagging him. Halzerk will reclaim one with the scout, but he's losing teammates. He's losing friends along the way. And he's now finally dealt with Heap. All alone here. The mid rap should have him dead yeah. to rights. Now, there are a lot of smokes in the way. It's a very smoky Ooh. situation here. x Flout. As that fades, he's good for the kill. He'll offer himself up there. You know he's had to put a lot of effort in trying to grow this side of him. Yeah, what a what a story it would be if he came off of, you know, his, his tumultuous history and became, uh, you know, not in a hurry. 30 seconds, though. They've got to start to speed up. Good flash. Forrest fights one, but sees more. And that's great information, meaning x Cloud now has to activate. He swung Heap, and he catches him, hearing him jump CT spawn as they set up for a mid to be. 20 seconds, the AWP is trying to cover Freiburg. He will call if that player makes it over, but the B play hasn't happened yet. There might not be time for this. He's dead on the mid play. Emo's dropped as well, and that's the bomb loose. Kalix has nothing to do. Right, so they're out into middle. Eternal fire. Boosting up Zantarez. How's Erk going to have to flick upwards? They see him. Ooh. Oh, that is a gnarly flick. He couldn't even see Zantarez. That is just pure reactions. My, oh my. Lovely way to kickstart this. And How's Erk's going to go forth and find another. This AWP in middle is helped out by Freiburg. Eternal going to be hard pressed to get it. Freiburg's just swinging and winning. And Forrest is here to help him close. Idea. Moore's in. Forrest with the swing is only good for one. And now the B site starts to crumble.
still, it's a two on three, right? They lose the A side lurk. The bomb plants come in, but now you've got to play a trap on default. Never ideal, and it's Woxic who's got to try and win this all alone. They just bomb site and eternal fire are running in with flashes. Oh, but a missed chance at the opener for Forest. Freiburg has brought it back into a four on four. It's all hinging on the B play for Eternal Fire. Kalix dead on the swing. Oh no, it started to get out of hand. Lecro's here, Ooh. holding the line, but only good for one. He's Freiburg, the trade king, looking to pull up, looking to come in with kills. Heaps nade. Brings it back to Dignitas's favor. Emo, they know oh. about him, but he's still gonna take the head off of Freiburg. How Zerg left in this one? One versus two. They're Ooh. wide on the site and a missed shot. They're running at him. Oh my god, the Glock's out. <laughs> and Emo's gonna close it with a Glock. We're going up. Pulling bodies over. Heaps playing up on top of default. Looking for oh. fights at ramp, and it's a double for Heap. Bomb dropped out in the open. Kalix doing what he can to reclaim this ground at A, but he's lost Woxic on shot. Short, and now all alone, 1v3, he needs to plant and they're just not gonna give him the room. Dignit is getting pushed on short, Santarez moving in, hits the timing, oh, Heat was not please. ready for that. Santarez peak meets Heat peak on short and Santarez is able to win it. A man advantage oh. now that goes untraded. Wow. Santarez with a double, can he make it a third? <laughs> no, he's run down. Freiburg catches him on the knife, Paul. And Hauserk's running the smoke. Again? Looking to fight. Looking to oh. fight for the site. The orb. Good for the first kill. Now roasting in the Molotov. Tries to drop a second as he burns. Cannot find it. It's all on Lecro. The bomb actually went back down ramp to play around these, like, these nades in the, uh, on the plant spot. They weren't any to come in, and now they've just got to commit to this together. Woxic will nail in this like 2-2 setup between A and B. He was trying to hound down the CT players. The Molly will deny it. Lecro and Forrest, they've got to hold this off. They are essentially all alone. There's no reinforcements. There's no cavalry. And so Lecro fighting tooth and nail to hold on to this what? B site. What? Oh, that's the bomb coming in late through main. They're chasing Lecro <laughs> down. And they will get the better of him eventually. Zantares holding for the rotates. And the fact that they are able to flush out Lecro, they're patient with it. They don't oh. flounder the execution. They come up with 17 rounds. Nade. Oh no! Oh, it's extinguished by the smoke. That's a bit of a disaster. It's gone a little wrong here. The Molly could have saved the round, but a smoke's oh. put it out, so the retake has to come through. And Kalix is nailing them on these openers. Forrest and Hauserk, two versus three. Bomb planted out in the open, ready for Halzerk to try and quell it from ramp, to try and deal Ooh. with this retake, but he is bested. Forrest, dead as well, and eternal fire. Paranoid about his flank with no teammates to support, and it might have to be a retake round. They can catch Freiburg here, that's nice. A big clear sends X-File back to B, but he needs a multi-kill, or this one's a retake. Yeah, he's gonna try and swing out, he gets one. That's honestly enough. He wanted oh. to leave there, he didn't want to die to Forrest. He was trying to get out of the site and set up to play four on three with him now falling it's even odds molly starts to rain in the smoke on Hauserk's quick to extinguish giving him more room oh. giving him a chance They're he out. needs to get out because calyx has gone super deep around this smoke and they've got no idea oh, oh Hauserk, back in with the swing has left it all to Santares. Eternal fire, it's on the line. Victory relies on this 1v2. Otherwise, we run it back again. Zantares in with the first. Just Forrest left to find. He's concealed himself. He's tucked away. Zantares oh. goes hunting, but Forrest <laughs> nails the shot. Nails. It could be nice. They can also boost up. They like that. Freiburg blind. Oh my Catches God. Catches Zantares re aggressing on the ramp side, and that's made Eternal Fire panic again, leaving a lone B player, and he's not for long. Emor now throwing himself into the round. Oh. Nice spray. Can he get a third? No. Forest trades, and we know he can. Two on three now. Halzak's picked out a rotate. He will get followed up onto. Kalix with a clutch, perhaps. A 1v1, and a long way away is Freiburg. Kalix has read it. He's sticking the defuse. He's won the round. 19 on this B site, as Freiburg is too late to the side. Three kills that they make the play happen. Halzak's holding the headshot angle. He's trying to shoot him underneath. He hits it. Molly will do it. Lovely pick for Halzak, but the nade gets its response. Yeah, exec util coming in. X Floud has pushed through the B site while oh, all this is happening. Wow. And Kalix doubles up on short. Very, very clean with the AK.
And still hungry for more. Forest cannot trade that. Kalix having an incredible round is on for the ace. Looking back at Lekro. Yeah. And he's going to lock in all five. In over at the back of quad. He's he getting knows. walked on. He's getting oh. walked. Oh. And he's now, you know, quick switching. He's got no idea. Lekro shoots him up the side of the head and now calls for these rotations. Double kill from Lekro's fast play into the B site. He's going to try and run it in. Yeah. Going to try and run it further. And he's got himself three. So often multi-killing was needed from this guy to find rounds for Dig. And I mean, it's all been encapsulated in this one to try get them one T-side round. In this second overtime, smoke fades. They deal with Lekro, a two on three. Kalix and Woxic left up in this one. And this is a Kalix who is switched on. This is a Kalix who is feeling it, coming off the back of an ace. Now in with a chance at this clutch. He's got Woxic moving in behind him. Two to the good already. Heap and Halzuk tucked in, trying oh, to play no. around the boss, trying to play around the defuse. They're on it, and oh, there's oh. the swing. Halzuk Feels like they're going for it. Woxic's ready. Can he get the shot before the flash pops? Oh yeah, missed shot for him or Zorp, right? Got throwing it because he's low on health. Rest of the gang coming back, but they've lost this all. They do at least deal with Hauser, just caught out in the open, right? It's this double up on short again for Dignitas. Yeah. This has been their go-to attempt at answering the A-side execute. As a result, though, eternal fire, they should be considering this. They're pushing it. They're actually going to try and take short aggro. They're going to start to push <gasps> in. Nades are out right oh, now. Dear. Good timing on this push. Heat, there's more. There's more players there. And the trade has come out for X-Cloud. Second man in Freiburg will rise to the occasion. And they know they've got him trapped on short, but it goes both ways. He doesn't need to overextend here. Doesn't need to get caught peeking. Oh. They try to run Freiburg down yes. and they can't get past him. Fry the task, they're trying to re-molly back in. I mean, this was like the bread and butter of the CT side with these late round ramp re aggros. However, this time it's traded to the advantage of Eternal Fire. Freiburg and oh, Heat no. both dead. Halzerk's missed the timing. And this is starting to get out of hand now. Eternal Fire with a bomb plant in a four on two. It's going to leave Forrest and Lekro to retake in a really rough spot. Yeah, Forrest missed his Molotov. He was flashed out. This Molly, it's going to land default. It's not really going to save much, is it? Just gets extinguished by the smoke. Not really a problem. Eternal Fire already off the bomb site anyway. And Forrest is going for the stick. He's sneaking up inside of the smoke, in the site, on the defuse right now. Are they going to oh get him off? God. Yes. Just about, they shoot through. Out of there, and looks like he wants to retreat. Just set up to play retake. Oh. Dignitas are playing almost an Eternal Fire-esque round, and they've started it by taking the man advantage. How's Zorp silenced after the first? Now Utility starts to rein in, heating up the play, heating up the sight, and denying a bomb plant for Eternal Fire. Time is ticking, and there's no more mollies to stop this plant. They've got to get it down here and now. Can anyone cover? Woxic needs to hit a shot as the stick comes in. They could run him down if they want. Woxic's hit a kill, though. Forrest is out of the round. Suddenly, the favor flips back to Eternal Fire as they just have to hold on. Emor trying to escape, disallowed by Lecro, and smoking kit available for this defuse. They're going to cross out. Woxic hits another. He's just trying to shut down the map, lock him out, and he might do it solo. Three kills from the in-game leader. And he will end the map and series. Eternal Fire, recover, and go one and one here in the RMR. Yeah, my crazy scenes from Woxic to close. And, I mean, it all comes to a head in the double overtime affair. That retake was looking so good for Dig. You know, they were able to snuff yeah. out the first man with Halzerg's orb. They're delaying plants with utility. But ultimately, Woxic's AWP going to rise to the occasion. Yeah, it hurt for Dig. They had two smokes there on that retake. They didn't get the chance to get them out because they couldn't even move off.